Brent, since I didn't get anything this year, what'd you do since you were uh, most improved and got everything locked down this year? I couldn't locked do anything. Down. Well, this year, actually, uh, I hunted probably more than I ever hunted ever in my life. Um, I had a local spot where I could, could hunt, but I think I... You know, you gotta draw a line between the overhunted area or, or not, but you were borderline. You know what? I probably was borderline, <laughs> but I seen a lot of deer. Um, had a coyote come in. Uh, I think my biggest mistake in the beginning of the year was opening day. I didn't cut this limb down right in front of me. I had a coyote at like 28, 30 yards. Stayed there like probably for 10 minutes, broadside. Hard like, to shoot with a bow. You know, but I, it would have been fun to try. But um, and then after that, it took off, and then probably one of the biggest bucks that I've ever seen. Came walking right out, stood right in front of where the brush was, and then when it actually came in within shooting range, it came out 40 yards and it turned and went veered totally away from me. I grunted it there and I could, didn't come in, but uh, I got a nice buck on film, which I was happy about because that's what I wanted to do this year was try to get a, a, a kill on film. Uh, so I was proud of myself. Melissa, nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on, you had you seen some stuff though, isn't it? I I saw more deer this year than. I had seen in three years of my hunting career, and um, I had a lot of opportunities, passed up on a lot of deer, passed up on a lot of deer because, um, like Brian, I was, you know, I was hoping the right deer would come out at the right time. I still haven't shot my first buck, and I'm kind of, kind of glad I didn't, but um, I, there was this monster four point, he must have been 125, maybe 130 scored, and uh, I saw him a couple times. He's uh, a couple of the guys that lease with me in Lansing. Mm -hmm. They use their um, small buck tag already, so they couldn't shoot him. And he's a big body, five and a half year old deer, just monster. He's a four. He's a four, four, just tall, <laughs> wide, gorgeous deer. So I passed up gun season, opening opening day gun. I sat out in the woods, passed up on eight doe I had in my sights and uh, just wanted some meat for the freezer but I wanted this four point bed. So <clears throat> I knew he was in the area. Sure enough he came out hot on some doe and he was maybe 250 yards just too far for me with a, a shotgun. And uh, he came in and he went into the thicket and I thought for sure he's coming out following the doe there heading right for my stand. Nine doe come out right for my stand and uh, I could see his antlers in the thicket and you could just see him moving, just the antlers coming out of the thicket. I'm like, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm getting the gun ready. And uh, he bedded down in the thicket, never came out. <laughs> Perfect. Man. Old but I, yeah, yeah, he's but, smart. I you know. He's smart, but he was, a um, couple of the guys got him on film and learned my lesson. It's my third year hunting, and uh, you gotta have the right equipment and you gotta have it set up right. So this year, it's gonna be set up right. What about you, Mike? Um, Man, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this past year, for sure. Um, second year on the 60. The 60 is um, a pretty tough property to hunt because they do, it is a bedroom for them. They use it for bedding. Um, you have to stay true to, to the wind. You really have to pay attention to uh, the, the trails that are used the most. And, uh, where, where you put your stands, your sets up at. Um, I think the first year, we did kill a lot of deer out of there, but they were younger deer. This year, we set it up to where we used very little bait, and we stayed true to, to, to the wind, and where we set our stands up, we made sure that they were, a little, that they were higher up. Um, I on. I also got to go to Ohio. I should mention that. That was awesome. <laughs> Going to Ohio was sweet. It was my first time on out of state. That was really cool. I seen pretty big bucks, you know, 150, 200 yards away. Uh, one that I had 150 inch come in pretty close. It was too dark. It was a monster. It was too dark for me to be pulling back on, and I did. But he was chasing doe, so I never really got a good shot. So, uh, you know, my year was awesome. I, I have to admit, I got extremely lucky on some of the, you know, thanks to Brian, I got real lucky getting that buck. I mean, it came right out in front of me. I mean, uh, well, I was gas for you. Um, and then I was also lucky to hunt with Corey 
on the Struther lands, which is, I mean, it was unbelievable. The amount of deer, if you guys have seen the video, which you have. You know, to, sh to shoot the buck I shot this year was very special for me to do it with my cousin, Brian. That was special. And then my last buck I got was with Ron, so I'm very happy that that happened to me and with both of them Both over of them the are messed up, too, with broken points. Both bucks were messed up. But you know what? Those, those are the biggest They're bucks fighters. I've ever taken, and I'm so proud of them, dear. So I'm very happy to have shot deer that, you know, most people would say that's a passing deer, but not in Michigan, not here, not now. Yeah. You know, no, there's no, no Until TV they in. change the uh, regulations and everything, you can't, you it, can't help it. My opinion is the same always has been in bow plants would be the same, is that until the, the law changes, there's really not much you can do, and you're not going to tell someone how to do what they want right. to do. I mean, it's not right. It's not right for me to tell you, you have to do this, you have to do that in your land, you know, and so... Yeah, sure, people can band together and does it work? Yeah, I'm sure it does in certain areas. We've seen it, you know, okay, Sean's right. land. But the, the truth is that people who say they do QDM doesn't mean they always do QDM. So the rules change mm -hmm. by each person. Oh, you know, I, I'm coming to your land. You tell me I can only shoot eight or better. Okay, it's your rules. That's fine. It's your land. Then the next week, you know, you bring your nephew out there. Oh, well, you know, he can shoot a four point because he hasn't shot a deer. Or you mm -hmm. take Alyssa, she hasn't shot a buck yet. I'm oh, you can shoot a that. six, right? I'm just saying. So... The rules right. always change depending on who it is, whatever right? The situation. And whatever situation is. At 25 is a great example. Last year we stated, oh, you, well, you stated it's your land. You know, well, we're not shooting small bucks. We're not. We're gonna pass on everything. Well, you know what happens? You get there, all that work, all that effort, all that time you put into it, shoot all it. The shooting. Yeah. How can you not shoot? We say the same thing every year. We're like, oh, we're not gonna shoot a four point if it comes out. Then we're if we're together, we're like. Phew. You know, it's going down, you know, especially where I got the cameras, all that work. It just, it doesn't make sense to not shoot it. If, you, if you're going to eat the meat and you're going to be proud of that deer, what's the difference? If you're going to yeah. shoot it like they did with the buffalo years ago and let it just lay and rot, then yeah, you're wrong, right? That's mm -hmm. not right. Just you know, because, you know, if, if there's rules, we follow. Depends That's just how on the land you have. I, yeah, if there's rules, you know, if we, we follow. A, if, we had, if we had a thousand acres, we're not, right. we're not going to shoot four points and six points. That's just a no-brainer. But, right. hey, I got 20 acres. Surrounded by guys that shoot everything that walk in. Right. In everything vultures. and anything. And they, they don't care. They, the rules don't matter. They just look at it as, I'm hungry, I want to eat. I did pass on two other bucks that came in and, and I let them walk because it wouldn't have been illegal. This guy's so passing on bucks. I'm just begging for one to walk but I in. Just, you know what I mean? I, I just didn't need <laughs> any more meat. And I, just, this, I think it's right. a great statement, though, you know? because... I'm the same way. After I shot the buck with you, I was done with bucks unless it was something outside the ears. That was my personal goal, even though that's not the law. The law is four better, but I already got my four. The first one had four on one side. Well, so it, technically, I could have shot two anything. or three other people that, that are waiting for me to get them a doe, so they they want the meat. Yeah. And it's kind of I've never had that before, where people but now people are really getting into the. You know, they don't organic. want all the steroids. Organic. Yeah, exactly. It's huge. It's yeah. really huge. And they don't want, like, all the steroids in their meat. And I love the steroids in my meat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean? That's what I was raised on. So, <laughs> it <makes me> <laughs> but, but I just, I've never had that. So I've always, like, David and I know, like, you think, okay, uh, man, if I right. take this deer, now I have to spend $80 on the processing. It's working And if well. I want the sausage or this, you know what I mean? It's, it's a money thing sometimes. And I've already got one deer. But now I, I, I feel like I've already got people for next year that... Hey, if you get a doe or if you get another deer, you know, we'll take it, you know, and so that's, that's great, you know, I, I think that's cool that people are starting to like the venison more. 2012, game over, looking forward to 2013, hopefully we can get some bucks on film this year, we're going to Ohio, might even go into some outfitters, so who knows what's going to happen, the way the teams are split up this year, we've got a lot of sponsors, a lot of exciting things happen, looking forward to 2013. Go Hunt Series. Go, go, go. Bones. Oh, yeah. HS, HS, right?